What's up everyone, it's Oliver. Today we're doing the long-awaited engineering tier list video where I tell you my opinions on every single type of engineering degree out there, what I think about them, and where I'll place them on this tier list. If you're excited for this video, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and now let's lay down some ground rules for how we're gonna be evaluating all of these engineering degrees. So the most important thing is that we are only going to have one S tier throughout this entire video. So only one degree will end up in the S tier. Some other things I'm gonna be using to rank are perceived popularity, perceived difficulty. So more popular, more difficult is gonna be higher up. Starting salary, salary potential growth, work-life balance, the variety of different jobs that you can get through your one degree. And lastly, with age comes wisdom, but the new kids on the block are really stirring things up, so it's gonna be kind of a toss-up when it comes to seniority of an engineering discipline. So with all of those rules out of the way, let's get into the list. So here are the 11 engineering degrees that I'm going to be ranking from left to right. We have aerospace engineering, biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, engineering physics, computer engineering, mechanical engineering, mechatronics engineering, petroleum, software, electrical. All right, so first up, we have aerospace engineering. Well, what are my thoughts on the popularity? I'd say it's a little bit of a less common degree, but your starting salary can be fairly good and your potential for growth can also be really good. You climb the rungs of these aerospace companies like Boeing or SpaceX, so there is a lot of room to grow with an aerospace engineering degree. Popularity-wise and difficulty-wise, I'd say it's about average. So we're going to put aerospace engineering in the B tier. I know, I know. Okay, we're starting off a little bit weak. I'm sorry, aerospace engineers, but we love you guys. You guys are probably going to take us to other planets someday. So you know what? I'm, I'm feeling an A tier just because I like my aerospace engineers. So you guys are quite cool, but it's tough because we got so many tiers and so few degrees. So, you know, we got to spread them out evenly. But for now, aerospace is sticking to the A tier. Next up, we have biomedical engineering. Now, this one I personally think is very cool. And I think that they've been doing a lot of damage in the pop culture world. And tons of cool things have come out with biomedical engineering, like so many researchers for the new vaccines that have come out and tons of other things like CRISPR. And I think that biomedical engineering can really help people with disabilities and things like that. And it's a very kind of honorable engineering degree. Your salaries can be quite high because healthcare pays. So yeah, I'm gonna stick this guy in A tier as well because there's just nothing really bad to say about biomedical engineering. Now, next up, we have chemical engineering. This is a little bit more of a classical en engineering field. You might call it WISE. Popularity, I'd say it's a little bit less popular and it's more popular amongst kids who are very interested, obviously, in chemistry. But from my perception, chemical engineering isn't the most popular type of engineering out there. It is still very cool, don't get me wrong but my perception of it is that you're doing much more lab work and you're not really going out there in the field. Glamorized wise, I would say chemical engineering is not quite as high as the rest. And I would say also that the salary growth is probably about in pa on par with the average. So we're gonna stick it in B tier about an average engineering field. So next we're gonna get into engineering physics. So this is E equals MC squared. Engineering physics in my personal experience is quite hard. It is, as the name suggests, extremely heavy in physics. They kind of remind you of the Einstein kind of engineer. By that singular fact that they're super heavy on the physics, it's a hard engineering degree. So mad respect to the engineering physicists out there. There's already quite a few in the A tier. Salary, but salary potential in engineering physics I kind of get the feeling might not be quite as high because it is more of like a scientific field. You'll probably find less private sector work with an engineering physics degree, which means you'll probably have a lower salary. So even though it is quite hard and a very respectable degree, we're gonna stick it in B tier. Next up, we have computer engineering. And computer engineering has always been a good engineering degree. It's been very solid. Nowadays, literally our entire world is run by computers. So there's a lot of good things to say about computer engineers. These guys are killing it in today's day and age. It's really tough to try and come up with a good ranking system and where to put these things, but computer engineering 
I don't think it's glamorized. I honestly think it's kind of below glamorized when it's, when compared to something like software engineering. Um, it doesn't mean that it doesn't pay well. It doesn't mean that it's not a good career choice. I just don't think it has the popularity or the glamour. The salary is definitely there. So we're also gonna stick this in B tier. And sorry about the black on black, but just, yeah, it's B tier and that's how it's gonna be for the time being. Man, I don't even know if I should have any of these bottom tiers because I would feel bad giving any any of these disciplines less than a B, but we'll see. All right, mechanical engineering is next up on the list. So what's cool about mechanical engineering? It's a classic engineering degree. You can do so much with it. The most famous mechanical engineer out there right now, I would say is Mark Rober. And this guy comes up with some super cool stuff. This man did some pretty cool stuff. You can work for NASA, like Mark Rober. Anyway, as you can tell, I think very highly of Mark Rober. Um, and he is a mechanical engineer. Salary wise, I would say mechanical engineers are about average. It's nothing absurd like a software salary. Your salary growth is probably not quite as high as software either, but that's just due to location most of the time. And potential-wise, it's a nice, steady, stable career. There's nothing wrong with it. So again, we're going into B tier. I'm sorry, but B tier it is. I don't think there's anything extremely special about mechanical engineering. It kind of encompasses lots of things, so your job variety is very abundant. And you know, overall, it's a pretty good discipline. Now, next up, we have mechatronics engineering. For those of you who have no idea what that is, I made a ton of videos on mechatronics engineering, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. But let's get into why and where I'm going to be putting mechatronics engineering. I think mechatronics engineers have one of the largest varieties of jobs available to them because they learned a bunch of things from different fields like mechanical software and electrical engineering. So by nature, they would have skills that can help them out in pretty much any field that they're interested in. So they win in variety. Salary-wise, they could have the potential to start out with a software engineer salary. So that's really good. And they have lots of growth potential. So I like mechatronics a lot. I am studying mechatronics, so I'm extremely biased Tier. So I'm gonna stick mechatronics in A tier uh, because one, I'm extremely biased and two, I think it's a great field and I really support anybody who wants to do mechatronics to go into mechatronics. All right, next up we got petroleum engineering. Woo! All right, so this one off the bat, I'm not a fan of because of damage to the environment. I know we need our gas and our oil in order for the world to basically run, otherwise everything would just stop, we would have no electricity, we wouldn't have any of this stuff. But when it comes to environmental sustainability, not the biggest fan of petroleum engineering. However, the salaries are really good and they attract lots of very talented people. So it's tough for me to, you know, really put, put it low but I am going to put it the first one in the C tier. And I know people that go into petroleum engineering are not going into it with the objective of environmental damage. And in fact, nowadays, petroleum engineers, they learn how to make drills more sustainably and their entire job now as a petroleum engineer is to find a way to make this damaging thing more sustainable. So I definitely respect that. But at the same time, I also think that it's a very damaging field and there's really no denying it. So petroleum engineering, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stick you in the C tier. So sorry about that. I also think that the variety in a petroleum degree is quite lacking. Uh, it's It seems that you will only be able to do about one thing with your degree, which some people might consider good, but I personally like more variety. So we're going to stick that in C tier. All right, next up, we have electrical engineering. So I really like electrical engineering. It's a super cool field of engineering. I personally really respect electrical engineers. The work that they do is awesome. As of recent, electrical engineering has been really popping off. They have almost as good salaries as software engineers, and the work that they do is seen in all of our infrastructure and our computers that we do today. They do some very valuable and important work. The degree itself, from my understanding, is also somewhat difficult because they have lots of software, lots of circuits, so they're doing some pretty complicated things in their engineering degree. On top of that, the job variety for electrical engineers is amazing. They have so many job choices, so I personally really like and respect what electrical engineers do. 
So we're gonna stick electrical engineering into the A tier because I think they deserve it. Their salary growth and growth potential is really there. They do lots of good work and yeah. So now we are left with our final two contenders, software and civil engineering. We have the ancient civil versus the more modern and more chic software. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> so the difference between civil and software is that software engineers have really had the golden era recently. They have had the highest salaries, the highest salary growth potential, and the degree itself, from my understanding, isn't the most complicated engineering degree out there. When you get to more advanced topics, like in that field and any engineering degree field, it is very complicated. But generally speaking, software engineering is something that people can learn on their own. And it's been done before. Google doesn't need you to get a degree. So in that way, software engineering isn't the most special degree out there. But that being said, they have done tons of great things for society. They've developed so many cool apps that we rely on and that we use today. So software engineers have really been doing the best recently. And I really respect what they do. But we also have civil engineers who are the old, the ancient, the classical, the wise. The work that civil engineers do literally involves people's lives in their hands. Uh, if they screw up, people will literally die. So they have lots of pressure on their shoulders. On top of that, they are not overworked like crazy like software engineers often are. They have great salaries and growth potential and lots of good benefits. It's a very classical route and, you know, they're just, they're very well-respected engineers. And when you first think of an engineer, you're probably going to think of a civil engineer who makes buildings and bridges. So they have been around for a long time and they're easily recognizable and very respectable. So... That being the case, what is my verdict? Who am I gonna put into the S tier? Is it gonna be software or is it gonna be civil? Now you might get mad at me for this one, but civil is going into S tier and software, I'm so sorry, you are an A tier, still a very, very good field of engineering. I'm probably gonna get yelled at for this choice, but hear me out, civil has been the classic, the thing that people turn to in their time of engineering search. I'm also pretty sure that civil has the most available jobs in the United States of any engineering discipline. Civil is still a growing field, and we are always going to need civil engineers to build up new things. They've been around for much longer than software, they have great work-life balance, and that's not to say that the things that software engineers do are not cool, because they are, and software engineers have really been doing some crazy stuff recently and have crazy salaries. But that doesn't mean that they are the most elitist ever tier of engineers. I think that civil really wins in lots of departments that software just doesn't have under control yet. So that being the case, there are my choices. There is my engineering tier list. Leave me your comments down in the description below. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree. And I'm sure that I will get tons of disagreeing comments with some of my choices here, especially that last one. But anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos. I make videos about engineering, if you couldn't already guess. And I also make some finance videos every once in a while. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it or that you found it kind of interesting and you found my reasoning a bit interesting. So hopefully this kind of helps you if you're trying to decide which engineering degree to go into. And yeah, we'll see you all in the next video.